Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and in this video I want to share with you the best 5 decisions that I've made in my 20s. I have a different video discussing the biggest mistakes that I've made in my 20s. You can check it out by looking in the description below or I will also link it to this video. But today I want to share with you the best part of it all. Here are the 5 best decisions that I've made in my 20s. since I was a little girl, I always wanted to travel the world, experience new cultures, be in different places and have a lot of experiences. And I was lucky enough to be able to do this a lot in my 20s. And why is this so amazing and why I believe this is one of the best decisions that I've made in my 20s? It's because not only the coronavirus situation happened and now we have a lot of lockdowns and difficulties to travel, but also we have a saying in Ukraine that says, the best time to do something is when you want it and when you can. So basically imagine if you're a young person, you have a lot of energy and a lot of desire to do something. Let's say I'm willing to sleep in a hostel, I'm willing to travel low cost because I want those experiences. So this is the best time to do it because let's say when I'm older, maybe I have the money to have a luxury travel experience, but I don't have as much energy and I don't have this enthusiasm when I go abroad and when I see something for the first time. As a result of those, all those traveling experiences, I feel like I became a different person and it changed me a lot in a positive way. Traveling really puts you in many uncomfortable situations and unpredictable situations and you have to be able to deal with it and you have to become resourceful and you have to be able to rely on yourself. So I feel like Right now, I'm very comfortable going to any country, any place, and I'm really okay with feeling like, oh, I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight, so I have to figure it out. Number two, one of the best decisions that I've made in my 20s was buying my own apartment. And I am lucky enough not to be living in America or Western Europe where apartment prices are very high, so I was able to save up and buy my apartment fully in cash. And why I think it was a good decision? First of all, the feeling of safety that you get when you own your own place. Basically, just imagine the situation that you are working somewhere and you're renting a place and then let's say something happens and you are not able to work for a couple of months and you will still have to pay your bills. Hopefully you save up and you have a financial cushion for these kind of emergency situations. For me, it feels much better to be able to stay in my home place for example, right now, I'm on a sabbatical. For a year, I will not be working. And I can stay in my own place and just pay bills, which is nothing in comparison to paying rent and bills. Second factor why I think it's a good decision is because of no additional cost associated with owning a, a home. In comparison to American real estate market, for example, here in Ukraine, I don't have to pay any additional property taxes, I don't have to have any maintenance um, expenses that you would have if you had a home, like a landed house. So owning an apartment just doesn't have any additional expenses. Third factor is the fact that I can always rent it out and in this way I can get passive income from my property. I'm the person who likes to live in different places for a couple of years in one country, a couple of years in a different country. So I will be able to rent my place out and have passive income. Factor number four why I think buying an apartment in my 20s was a great decision to make is because at least here, property value, resale value goes up every year. So if I want to sell my place one day, I will not only be making money in the process by renting it out, but also will make a profit when I sell it. The third best decision that I've made in my 20s was choosing myself. What do I mean by this? In most cases, I was trying to prioritize my own needs, my own desires and my own dreams. We live in a society where we are constantly pulled in different directions. We are really focusing on what other people think of us, what other people expect of us, how we have to be, what we have to do to please others, to be accepted by others. And I think that this is a recipe for disaster and unhappiness. I really believe that we have to remove distractions from our life. And sometimes by removing distractions, we have to say no and learn how to say no to many people in our lives. This is the only way that we can have space 
to learn how to listen to ourselves, what is important to us, learn who we are and what are we here to do. I believe that only you know what's best for you in this life and only you can make the best choices for yourself. And if right now at this point you don't know what you want and you don't know what is the best for you, the sooner you start discovering yourself and listening to yourself and making mistakes in the process, the better for you. The faster you will be able to consolidate yourself and your character and your personality and become the person that you want to be. When you allow yourself the freedom to make your own choices and make your own decisions, you might encounter that you are making many mistakes. And this is the moment when you will have to realize that there's nobody else to blame because you are making these decisions, you have to take responsibility for the consequences. This is how you can be empowered in your life. I believe that having time and space for yourself and prioritizing yourself is a key to intentional living that leads to creating a meaningful life. The next best decision that I've made in my 20s was prioritizing constantly learning and committing to lifelong learning. I really believe that learning constantly and updating our knowledge, our frames of mind and our skills, it is the key to success and fulfillment in today's society. And I can tell you that in my 20s, I spent a lot of time and I put a lot of focus on constantly learning. In my professional life, updating my skills, learning new techniques and so forth. In my personal life, I was learning a lot about other people, what drives them, how they think, what they're scared of, what are their dreams. Because I was traveling a lot and living abroad for many years, it helped me to learn more about the world and life in general. And lastly, I never stopped learning more about myself. I was constantly trying to put myself out of my comfort zone in an unpredictable situation to be able to grow and see things from a different perspective. I was also attending a lot of workshops, retreats, personal development seminars, and working with a coach to understand what are my strengths, where are my weaknesses, where can I work on, how can I improve. And the last best decision that I've made in my 20s was adopting minimalist mindset. I will have a video where I'm describing more about what minimalist mindset is in my opinion and I will link that video in the description box as well as to this video. But right now what I want to say is that because I was traveling a lot and I was living abroad I was not able to take many things with me as well as because I was aggressively saving to buy my apartment I was not buying so many things and what I realized in the process is that actually I don't need much to be happy and I also realized what are the important things that make me happy such as being in a company of people that you like you admire you feel good at or working on creative projects where you can exercise your creativity and feel fulfilled and being in a flow or for example learning new things and realizing how much you don't know actually or updating your frames of mind or having positive experiences and sharing them with others all these things make you feel fulfilled, make your life feel meaningful, make you feel happy. That's why adopting minimalist mindset helped me to prioritize what is actually important in my life, what brings me joy, what makes me happy and fulfilled. And look at other things that can be perceived as a symbol of status of achievement in society, but actually that are distractions and they don't bring much value to your life. If you like this type of content, hit the like button under this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.